Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach Duke, man. Back with another banger. And before we even get into today's video, man, make sure you guys go follow my Twitter at Coach Duke underscore man for important updates. And make sure you guys follow my Twitch, Coach Duke YT, both on the screen right now, man. Make sure you have notifications on for both so you never miss a thing. I'm gonna need you guys to watch this video entirely all the way through from start to end then so you guys don't miss any details this is the new best center build in nba 2k 20 man and i'm about to hook you guys up with everything all the upgrades all the badges break it down from start to finish especially at legend this build is an absolute demigod so i'm about to show you guys how to dominate the game if you want to play stage events anything bro this is the best center build to do it with it's actually has a power forward so it's absolutely op man so i'm about to hook you guys up so if this video does help you guys at all if you guys do like this build make sure to hit that subscribe button man it helps me out a lot i would really appreciate it it's free to show love make sure you guys hit that notification bell man so you guys never miss another banger video from your boy and make sure to drop a like smash that like button down below on this video man let's aim for 200 plus likes man i'm about to be really grinding i know there's not been much content to put out for the rest of nba 2k20 but i'm going to try my best to put out some solid content for y'all heading into 2k21 but make sure to follow that twitch link down below in the description i stream every single day there and i will be the rest of the summer so make sure to see me live on there man now let's get into this video man let's go all right y'all so now we're gonna get into the build y'all the most op demigod center build as of right now in nba 2k20 to end the year off with on the way into nba 2k21 so make sure your position says power forward man not center this is a power forward build and this is one of the reasons why it is so op handedness does not matter i just always go right handed on all my centers and jersey number does not matter you guys already know i'm 34 for my guy hakeem Olajuwon, man so to get into the build man for the skill breakdown for the skill breakdown pie charts you want to go all the way to the bottom y'all go all the way to the bottom and you want to select the one with the most red so the most deep defensive rebounding and click that right there and now for the physical pie chart y'all for the physical pie chart some people debate around two to three different physical pie charts for this build um people go either the second balance one or one of the last two as you guys can see the second balance one 70 speed 65 acceleration those are kind of well however you get the 95 strength and the 79 vertical which is best for centers and the bottom two you get a higher speed 78 72 75 70 but as you guys can see the strength and vertical is lower and for this kind of build i'm going to explain why later it's okay to have the speed lower you want the best strength and the best vertical for this build so make sure you choose the balanced physical pie chart right here y'all the second one down and now to get into the actual build so starting off with finishing as you guys can see you get 405 attribute upgrades on this build y'all you want to max your close shot all the way up max that close shot you want to max your driving layup you want to max your standing dunk sorry your driving dunk you want to max your standing dunk too max both of them and then your post hook you want to put your post hook just up to a 46 to get 15 finishing now on this build guys on this build you can get 16 finishing however the way i'm doing it is better and with only the and it's it's better than having the extra finishing upgrade with the way i'm doing it so for shooting a lot of people actually on this type of build they'll touch shooting a little bit just to get a couple badges um just so that they can shoot some mid-range or like maybe even pop out for a three however on my type of build you're not going to touch shooting at all and since I'm a legend, you can actually shoot a little bit too, even without touching it at all. So for the playmaking, this is what you want to touch with the playmaking. And this is the reason right here why you don't want to have 16 finishing on this build and you want to have 15 finishing. So you want to max your pass accuracy all the way up. Don't touch your ball handle. And you want to go down to your uh, post moves and you want to actually max your post moves. So you can get three playmaking. And this is actually extremely extremely crucial i'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit later in the video why you want the three play making instead of 16 finishing and one play making and now for the most important part of the build man obviously is the defense in this build interior defense you want to max that all the way up man it isn't inside for the perimeter defense you want to go to a 76 so not max lateral quickness you want to go to a 75 75 right there that is maxed um 76 for the steal and then you want to max the last three. So max your block to a 95, max your offensive rebound to a 95, 
and max your defensive rebound to 95 so as you guys can see man for the final final potentials you're going to end up with 15 finishing one shooting three playmaking and 30 defensive slash rebounding on this build an absolute op build man so now to continue here for the body shape um on all my centers i always go burly so on this build especially you want to go burly again and now for the height y'all so for the height it is a power forward so on a power forward you can go the highest of seven feet and you can go the lowest of six seven so on this build y'all um some people go six ten some people go six nine some people go six eight now on this build guys you want to go six nine and some of you guys that don't play this game a lot, you just play this game casually. I saw some comments in some of my previous videos when I made like top three center builds. Guys, you want, you guys were like, why would you ever make a 6'9 center? Listen, y'all, if you guys don't watch stage, if you guys don't watch, you know, comp stage, stage streamers, stuff like that. If you guys, you know, don't play events like that and see the comp teams that win events, this is the build that most of these centers are playing on a 6'9 power forward paint piece it's absolutely op especially for me at legend bro the amount of finishing the amount of defense you get with contact dunks all that good stuff a lot of people in stage even use tendencies i don't but at 6'9 this build is an absolute demon so you want to go 6'9 for the height y'all and for the weight for the weight guys you're gonna want to go 271 so obviously the max is 275 you don't want to go complete max just go like four or five below it so go 271 for the weight as you guys can see it increases your interior defense it does knock down your lateral quickness just a little but it's not too too bad to impact the build nothing else on this build ends up getting touched and for the wingspan man it is a center so on all your centers especially inside centers you want to go with a max wingspan so 90.7 and now for the takeover y'all so for the takeover a lot of people discuss takeover rim protector takeover or glass cleaner takeover so in my opinion i prefer glass cleaner takeover and that's what i'm gonna go with today just because it makes you an absolute dog you can see where the ball is gonna go you can easily horse people when you see where the ball is gonna go you can spread just dominate the paint break box outs and just absolutely be a, a beast in the paint however some people especially a lot of some of the top centers um that have used both they will switch they will play on builds sometimes they have both builds they'll have one that has rim take and one that has glass take they like the rim take sometimes for the styles but i just feel like this year the rim take is not as op as it was last year i feel like you don't get as many stops i feel like people still make bs on you in the paint so i would definitely go with glass cleaner takeover man it's absolutely op on this build and as you guys can see man that will complete the my player builder you have built a paint beast the demon yes sir the paint beast similar to dennis rodman anthony davis and zion williamson and now i'm about to show you guys the best badges to use until you are a legend on this build man now for the badges and testing potential y'all so as you guys can see right here man this is the build at 99 overall y'all these are all the potential upgrades and the badges and all the physicals at 99 overall so as you guys can see right here man the build has 15 finishing one shooting three playmaking 30 defensive however i am a legend so i have 25 finishing 11 shooting 13 playmaking and 40 defense this build is an absolute demigod y'all and also guys i'm going to explain to y'all why i decided to take one off of the finishing and use three playmaking because the one extra finishing is not really worth it so as you guys can see for the finishing man i chose five gold badges contact finisher gold giant slayer gold relentless gold slithery finisher gold and lob city gold obviously all these help you finish at the rim much better and you can catch alley-oops if you need to for rep or to just get bailed out man so this is the finishing badge setup right here and you don't have the extra one for 16 to make it you know a bronze and then five golds it's just five golds which i will explain later like i said now for the shooting a lot of people say for shooting that one shooting badge is literally nothing and it means nothing but this is actually can make a difference y'all make sure you put slippery off ball on bronze y'all and here's why slippery off ball doesn't just help with dexing off the ball slippery off ball literally helps your splits and your slips to the basket off the pick and roll and it helps you just move smoother to the basket when you're cutting so put on slippery off ball bronze 
for the shooting. And now well, here's where the three playmaking comes in. So it's very, very important. And this helps so much, man. This is the reason why you choose three playmaking and 15 finishing instead of 16 finishing and one playmaking so that you do get this one important playmaking badge at gold for this demigod paint piece build man and this badge is gold quick first step man quick quick first step is absolutely op on offense because when you when you catch the ball you know the top of the key and you ball fake look to drive if you look to ball fake and drive you're so much quicker you know off that first step like it says in the badge and you can explode to the hoop for a contact dunk or to finish around the rim or it just helps you move around a lot better on the court like on fast breaks you can like dribble coast to coast get uh you know fast break layups or just dribbling you know moving until while your guards are getting open it just helps you move faster and a lot more smoother so that's a big you know badge and now for the most important part yeah, man the most important part of this build is obviously the 30 defense at legend i get 40 defense y'all so here you go you want to have gold box and gold chase on artists they're both still just as effective man you don't need them at hall of fame same thing with silver clamps and silver interceptor you don't need those for a hall of fame obviously at legend when i get 40 i'll put all of them at hall of fame but in this case it's perfectly fine for the setup and it's still just as op man and then for the hall of fame bad is the obvious ones that you need hall of fame brick wall hall of fame intimidator hall of fame pogo stick Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser and Hall of Fame Rim Protector, man. These are absolutely OP in the paint. I like having Hall of Fame Pogo Stick just because I'm going to start playing more competitive matchups, not just playing Park or like 3v3 Pro Am. And Pogo Stick can be huge if you're playing a, uh, you know, a good center or someone that likes to you know, go up all up in the paint. You can abuse that. So this is the badge setup right here, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, if this build is OP to y'all and it helps you guys out, and if these badge setup helps you guys out as well, make sure to help me out right back, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. It's free to show love. Hit that notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload from your boy. And make sure to drop a like on this video, man. Let's aim for 200 plus likes. Make sure you guys follow my Twitter and my Twitch at CoachDuke underscore CoachDukeYT. Both links in the description, man. Appreciate all the support. Big 20K on the way. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. I'm out.